Metadata is a commonly used word, but most people only have an approximate idea of what it means. The obvious place to start is with the dictionary meaning of uh, metadata. And if we go to the Oxford Dictionary, it gives you this uh, interesting description, a set of data that describes and give information about other data. If we go and have a look at the Wikipedia version of it, it gives a little bit more yeah, information about the information that provides information about other data and generally speaking we talk about metadata as being data about the data in a shortcut way of saying all of that. But you can see there's lots of ways that it's used. Really interestingly, you see this diagram over on the side there, we can see a reference to metadata in an old fashioned library cataloguing system using cards. And the cards that are used in there is actually metadata because they give you information about the book that they are referring to. Speaking of books, uh, we have a lot of metadata in traditional books. If I just open this one up, and we can see there's sections there about the contributors. So here we have the table of contents, which is gives the chapters and sub parts within each chapter. So lots of data about the data in the book. There's a preface about it. That's just the introduction bits in there. If we go to the back of the book and look further, we can see here is the, the, the index. So we're trying to find something there. We can flip through the index and try and understand that. There's the glossary of words, which also tells us information about the words which have been used in the book, data about the data, and some appendices. So even in traditional books, we can see that there is lots of metadata involved in it. So, now that we're in the digital age and the word has been popularised, where is it that we actually see metadata? One of the most common places that we see metadata is actually in the standard file display. For, as you look into a folder, this is in Windows, so we're seeing their versions of it. There's the file name, the date it's modified, the type of file and the size of the file. Another place that we have metadata that people commonly know about is with photos and videos. I've got this in a photo manager and this particular photo has been selected and over on the right hand side we can see even the word metadata on there and lots of information connected with that particular photo. In the next video we'll show you how to use metadata in a real business situation.